Hello everyone, this is Apple Tricks. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the jailbreak update for iOS 14.4, 14.4.1, 14.4.2, and iOS 14.5. First of all, you need to know that all these versions are jailbreakable. If you have an iPhone 6s, iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, or an iPhone 10, you can jailbreak with a tool called Checkrain. I'll leave the link in the description. Please note that Checkrain is a tethered jailbreak. Now in this video, I'm going to be mainly focusing on a jailbreak that's going to be released least for iPhone 10R, 10S, 11 and all models above it like the 12, 12 Pro, etc. iOS 14.5 just released and Apple patched a ton of security vulnerabilities. Some of them are kernel exploits, meaning they can be used to jailbreak a device. Also, Apple patched a WebKit vulnerability stating processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. This vulnerability is in Safari itself, meaning that it can also be used to create a jailbreak right on Safari like jailbreakme.com. We won't see this most likely, but all the kernel security patches can be used to jailbreak iOS 14 to 14.4.2. Of course, not iOS 14.5 since all these are patched in that version. I'll let you know how to get ready for the jailbreak later in this video. A Twitter account called Free the Sandbox tweeted, if you want to run an iOS LPE, it is probably wise to stay on iOS 14.4.2. Disclaimer, it is silly because it means that you will need to stay on a vulnerable version, but it is what it is until the sandbox is freed. They're simply saying that they have an exploit in hand and it works on iOS 14.4.2. Everyone got really excited because this exploit can be used to create a jailbreak for iOS 14.4 to 14.4.2. But a few hours later, they again tweeted, I see a lot of over analysis of this tweet. This tweak is not advised. We are not going to release an LPE for iOS 14.4.2 anytime soon. Do whatever you want. Seriously, like these accounts are getting more and more annoying. First, they tease you with the possible jailbreak and they act like they're the only ones who know how to create a jailbreak. Like the same thing happened for iOS 14.3's jailbreak. Coolstar was like, I'm like the only one who knows how to create a jailbreak. I'm not gonna give an estimated date of release and tweeting stuff like that very, very rudely. Like people were asking an estimated time and uh, she was just like insulting them. Suddenly a real player, the Uncover team, released a legit jailbreak. They were silent all along and they actually created a real jailbreak. I think the same will happen right here. We will get an iOS 14.4 to 14.4.2 jailbreak soon by possibly the Uncovered team. There is no proof of this, it's just what I choose to believe. iOS 14.5 patches a bunch of security risks as we just saw, so don't expect a jailbreak for that version anytime soon. The good news is iOS 14.4.2 is still being signed by Apple, meaning you can downgrade right now. This is applicable for the date right now while recording this video May 2nd. Please check the description. I will mention if Apple stops signing it. If Apple is still signing it, consider yourself lucky and downgrade as soon as possible as Apple will stop signing it anytime now. If you're on iOS 14.4, just stay where you are and don't upgrade to iOS 14.4.2 or anything like that. iOS 14.4, 14.4.1 and 14.4.2 are all good iOS versions for a jailbreak. So just stay and turn off automatic updates in settings so it doesn't accidentally update to 14.5. There is a lot of drama going on in the jailbreak community right now. Also, a lot of these hype accounts on Twitter falsely hype you up with an exploit or a jailbreak. Don't expect anything more from these accounts. If there is legit news or anything important, I will definitely make a video on it. Another important thing is if you're like a new jailbreaker, if you search for how to jailbreak iOS 14 or 14.5 on YouTube, a ton of fake videos will appear. Please don't believe them. They will force you to download affiliated apps so they make money in the end and you're just wasting time on these scam websites. If any video says injecting or complete human verification, it's fake. You never need to download apps from the app store to proceed to a jailbreak. If a legit jailbreak comes out, trusted YouTubers like iCracker iDevice, iDevice Central, iDevice Slash, and even me will release a video. Until then, keep waiting and stay safe. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.